Hello, you are welcome here in my busy little shop. Today, I want to talk a little bit about stitching ponies uh, on this episode of What's on My Workbench. So when I first started off doing leather work, I did a lot of belts and I did hand stitching on all of them. I still do, but I would do that on my lap. And I had a challenge of trying to keep my stitches looking consistent until I went to a stitching pony. These stitches here, these are all hand done. Um, and I used the stitching pony to hold the leather while I was working on it. Doing that, I was able to get a more consistent stitch. And I was quicker because I was able to work both needles through the thread at one time. So I purchased this stitching pony, uh, D Dream Factory. I bought it from Rocky Mountain Leather and it does a, a really good job of holding the work that I'm working on. It's got magnets buried in the stitching pony here on both sides to hold your needles. Clamps to a, up to a pretty good size thickness of a workbench. And I've been using this now for, I guess, a um, little more than a year. And it's really improved my stitching work. So I just thought I would take a minute and just show that to you. I hope uh, this helps someone that's trying to decide whether or not to do a stitching pony. I'd love to have one that you sit on, but I don't have that much room in uh, my workshop to have that set up. So this is the Dream Factory stitching pony. This is the large size. I wish they made one a little bit larger. The jaws on this are about four inches and I would rather have one that's a little bit larger. So that's it for today. I hope you're having a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe.